It's another edition of MSA Sports Center Stage. We're at Fox Chapel High School, first round of the girls' class AAA playoffs took place in Fox Chapel, victorious, the seventh seed over the tenth seed of Petrafford Warriors by a score of two to one. Courtesy of the player to my right, Dina DeBaldo, the junior midfielder. You sure waited long enough to get the game winner, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had many shots and kicked them right at the goalie for most of them. <laughs> Talk about the game winning play. It seems like Maggie made a nice play down the right side and found you. Turn a quick shot to the far side. Was that your idea all the way? Just to turn and fire it as soon as possible? Um, yeah, Maggie had a really nice pass to me, and then I just touched it to the outside around the girl. Just shot it, and hopefully, and it went in. So. Did you look? Did you see far side? Were you thinking far side all the um, way? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. because I she was cutting off like the near post, so I. You also had an assist too on a corner in the first mm -hmm. uh, in the first game. You're the designated. Corner taker for yeah, this I team. Am. Talk mm -hmm. about that strategy too, because on Dixon School you got that you got the assist. Um, I was just thinking to hit it right above the goalie, and I try to curve it in a little bit so someone can get ahead on it. And Dixon didn't hit it, but she kicked it, and it was a nice goal. Now defensively, you guys were pretty good. You possessed a lot in the second half, much better than the first half. You didn't allow any shots. Your freshman goalkeeper Katie Fesco is out, but you put your other freshman in there in the second half, Julie. Shepler, was it by design to just try to possess and keep the ball away from your defensive end? Yeah, we were we were um, trying to get more of our offense, so that's why you put the three forwards up top to attack more and get a goal. What's the key moving forward? Uh, Seneca Valley, by the way, who's become your nemesis, is on the other side of the bracket, so you don't yeah. have to worry about them unless you get to the championship. Yeah. Game, right? <laughs> but what's the key moving forward for your team? Continue to play the way you, the way you did in the second half? Just possess? Um, yeah, possess the ball, find feet, and hopefully just score a lot of goals to win. More instead of waiting to the 55th yeah. to the, to the 80th minute, right? Yep. <laughs> score earlier. Now, I know you were on a center stage earlier. I'm not sure if they asked you this, but you're headed to UNC Wilmington, correct? No, I'm actually on Duquesne. Oh, that's, you're going to Duquesne. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's I, I missed part. Talk about Duquesne. Now, your sister was on the team, right? Yeah, she was. I was a freshman and she was a senior. Where did your, did your sister play collegiately? Um, no, she one, one of my sisters plays club and my other one doesn't. Okay, so not neither of your sisters go to Duquesne? No. Mm -hmm. Where, who are your sisters, by the way? Give them a little shout out. Um, Carly DeBaldo, she has a bowling green and she plays club, and Janelle DeBaldo goes to Dayton. And Carly was the four year starter, correct, on the team? Yeah. yeah. And so, so they went to Ohio, but you're going to Duquesne. Why is that? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just like staying closer to home. and. You're going to play I'm, soccer at yeah, Duquesne? Yeah, I'm playing soccer. And how about a major? Um, I'm undecided yet. Okay, so. you got time. Yeah, I have time. Got time. <laughs> Lots of time. You had time, not a lot of time today, but you had time. Yeah. <laughs> you get the game winner in the uh, final minute of play. Fox Chapel defeats Penn Trafford by a score of 2-1. to one. Courtesy of Dina DeBaldo had a goal and assist. Thanks for joining us, Dina. Thank you so much. Good luck as the playoffs Thank go you. on. I'm Bob